Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back to another Layer by Layer. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at an air quality sensor from Adafruit. So let's just jump right into it. So this is uh, the model I'm working with today. It's the Adafruit PMSA 003i air quality sensor breakout from Plan Tower. So this is the learn guide for it. And the first things I tend to do when I'm modeling uh, uh, components is to, I'll, I'll just look for them and see if anybody has already modeled it. One of the places I like to go is grabcad.com. Uh, definitely check us out. Uh, I run the Adafruit account and I tend to upload a couple of models that aren't necessarily PCBs, but like uh, components like an air quality sensor or connectors, things that uh, I have to model myself, I throw them up there. So if you wanna check it out, uh, you can follow us and I'll have a link. Uh, but I did find uh, some uh, air quality sensors from Plan Tower. However, these are all different models. Here is a really nice one that Adafruit stocks too. This is the PMS uh, 5003. And it's a really nice one. Shout out to uh, Mr. Gregory here for uploading a fantastic model. So if you need this air quality sensor or any of these, definitely check them out on GrabCAD. So back over here, um, luckily um, Adafruit has a nice data sheet, or at least a plan tower has provided a nice data sheet for this uh, model. And I use this one uh, to model up their little air quality sensor. So under the learn guide, you can go to the download section and then there is a link here to uh, the CAD files on your GitHub repo. So if you ever need uh, to download Adafruit's PCB files in like Eagle CAD, you can always open them, download them and bring them into uh, Fusion 360 and make them a 3D model. Uh, if folks are wondering like, how am I creating uh, 3D models of PCBs these days? I'm still using Eagle CAD. Uh, 9.3, which is a little bit older version, but it just tends to work the best with um, with Fusion 360 for my uh, for my needs. Uh, so in the manufacturing uh, tab, I've already gone ahead and cleaned up uh, some of the uh, some of the extra labels and values that get added here. I just cleaned those up so that the silk screen is nice and clear. So uh, there's not too many graphics going on here, but it's always the thing that I tend to do in Eagle is just kind of clean up and re remove some of the name and values that get added here. But there, you can see in the back here, we got some nice text, version number, and uh, those lovely uh, logos from Adafruit like the Stemma QT. So I brought that into Fusion already. And here's what it looks like with all the things pre-populated. So we got some things here. We got uh, two Stemma QT connectors on either end. Those are looking real nice. We have two mounting holes here. These are the M25 size that uh, Adafruit tends to use on all their boards. And you got here, you know, your, your typical suspects. You got some 0603 resistors, capacitors, and uh, you have some SOD 323s and some SOT 236. So lots of little components there. Uh, and then the air quality sensor itself is what I modeled. Uh, so that's this right here. Now it's not too detailed, but it's got enough detail, I think. Um, like you got the, the little fan here and the little intake. Um, so those are little holes there. There are some mounting holes, but I don't think they actually are gonna get used. Um, they're, they're back here, but they're not accessible when they're like mounted to the PCB. Uh, so we'll take a look at that here. Um, so in the, in the PCB, if you uh, hide the component right here, you can see there's a little two, uh, two by five header, and that's what actually plugs into the sensor itself. So the sensor itself gets plugged into that, and then all these uh, all these components uh, talked with that way. Uh, but you can see there are some mounting holes there, but with the air sensor uh, like fitted on top, it, it just kind of sits there with uh, the header plugged in, uh, so it's easy to take it out. Um, and then you have these two mounting holes that I think I'll use. Although if we really need to, I guess I could use these two mounting holes as well. And they tend to line up really nicely with the holes that are on there, but they're a little bit smaller. They're like 1.7 millimeter, which is like an odd uh, hole. So I don't really consider it like a mounting hole. So I'm definitely gonna use these M25 ones that Adafruit has. One of the interesting things that I came across was uh, I needed to generate this custom header. So if I hide this again, you can see this is the header that I needed to create. It's a two by five header and it has a really uh, small pitch. And I wanted to use uh, the package generate inside of Fusion, but I found that it's changed slightly. Uh, so I can't no longer like pull this up and use this in like a blank document. Like it just doesn't seem to work right now. Um, so if you look at the date of this, you can find out what version of Fusion it is. It's October 2020 right now, so you can figure that. But uh, there is there is one workaround uh, that you can still use uh, the package generate. So let me show you real quick. So really, it has to do with creating a new electronics library. So you have to create a new electronics library. That brings up a new window, and then that gives you these buttons up here in the tool panel. 
This is a create new package, so I need to click on that. And now I'm in that workspace where I can use uh, the package generator. So here is the uh, 3D package generator button. So once I click on that, then I can uh, go ahead and start creating, uh, generating that component that I want. In this case, it was a header. It was a, uh, a female header, so I'm just going to hit preview just to show you that it does work. Uh, but if you try to use the package generator outside of this uh, interface, it doesn't work anymore. So maybe that'll work in a future, maybe they'll, they'll break it or fix it in a future update, but I just figured I'd let folks know uh, that that's how I was able to create uh, the custom header uh, using the package generator in Fusion 360. Just a little bit of the extra workflow. I did cover how to do this in the original video, but uh, the hacky way no longer works. So I figured I'd let you folks know about that. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. Don't forget, I'll have links to the air quality sensor if you guys want to download that one. And don't forget to subscribe to us on uh, the GrabCAD website. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, remember to make a great day. Bye, folks.